If you grow up believing you are what you do, when you're done, you aren't. And if you believe that you are what you have, when it's gone, you aren't. You have to change your thought from I need more to what I call live in contentment. What is this thing about more? It's the mantra of the ego, isn't it? I have to have more. I have to collect more stuff. I have to have more friends. I have to have more money. It's more, 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 more. When where you came from, you came from nowhere. You don't need anything. It's a continuous bombardment that we're all exposed to in this whole world of believing that we have to have more. Just go for a walk this afternoon when you get home. Just look at the perfection of all that is. Just look at the clouds and look at the sky and look at the ocean and look at the trees and look at the leaves and even more important, look at the space between the leaves and look at the invisibleness and the perfection of how everything is. There is a constancy and this constancy is always there. And everything that you're going through, it's all part of the perfection of all of this. That you are not any of the things that you've come to believe that you are. You're not what you have, you're not what you do, you're not your reputation. I have learned how to be content with whatever I have. I know how to live on almost nothing or with everything. I have learned the secret of living in every situation, whether it is with a full stomach or empty, with plenty or little, for I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. I've learned by now to be quite content whatever my circumstances. I'm just as happy with little as with much, with much as with little. I found the recipe for being happy whether full or hungry, hands full or hands empty. Whatever I have, wherever I am, I can make it through anything in the one who makes me who I am. If every annoyance can be made to remind me to turn and grip your hand and ask you, what are you saying through this vexation? then I can turn life's rough spots into your vocabulary. If I can do that perfectly, nothing can defeat my soul. I have learned the secret of happiness, and that is to be content, to choose to see every annoyance, every setback, every disappointment through the lens of who God is, faithful, trustworthy a promise keeper and so in times of annoyance and disappointment and grief i choose to lean on him to look to him instead of complaining or worrying why would you ever complain O jacob or wine israel saying god has lost track of me he doesn't care what happens to me don't you know anything haven't you been listening God doesn't come and go. God lasts. He's creator of all you can see or imagine. He doesn't get tired out, doesn't pause to catch his breath, and he knows everything inside and out. He energizes those who get tired, gives fresh strength to dropouts. For even young people tire and drop out. Young folk in their prime stumble and fall. But those who wait upon God get fresh strength. They spread their wings and soar like eagles. They run and don't get tired. They walk and don't lag behind. Yes, I have learned the secret of happiness. It is to choose to wait on the Lord. It is to work on actively, intentionally, fully trusting in the Lord. For we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him who have been called according to his promise. If we obey and serve him, we will spend the rest of our days in prosperity and our years in contentment. For those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. I will choose to be content in every circumstance because I know that in sowing good seed, I will reap 
good reward. Continue to breathe and to bloom, friends. That simply means pause and take time to do what you need to do to be the best version of you. And I encourage you to practice gratitude this week and to practice being content and to think on the things that are beautiful in your life. And if you found value in this video, please let me know by hitting the like button and dropping a comment in the comment section. And for more videos like this on how to prioritize your growth and your well-being as you work towards your goals and towards living a purpose-driven, well-balanced life, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Until next time, take care.